this at the old Shay Gap Town site, now Ghost Town. They dismantled the lot, took them all away, but this is where they used to be, right underneath these hills here. This is where we're standing. This used to be the town site. Goldsworthy Mining and then BHP. a bit rough around the edges but we're camping out in the bush here at Shea Gap. Um, Shea Gap used to be a iron ore mining town in the 1970s, 1980s. I think it closed in 1996. Um, it was part of the Goldsworthy Mining Company set up and then changed to BHP. So uh, Ainsley worked for Goldsworthy at one stage there so um, we had to come back and have a look at Shea Gap. We went and saw Goldsworthy the other day. Ains is just doing the fire here. We found a nice little spot to camp here um, in between the Shea Gap Ranges. That's what we're calling them because we don't know the name. But we've got the caravan set up um, in a gravel pit here and it's quite a nice quiet little area. So we're going to see if we can um, do some walks tomorrow. We went to try and get out to the Yarry Mine, the old Yarry Mine site today. Couldn't get out there, the locks are all on the gates and everything like that. Um, they're pretty, everywhere we little track we go down we seem to come across a locked gate that's got a little road going around it. So we have been down a few of those. Um, but yeah, pretty awesome little place here, very quiet. Really different to where we've been staying because we've been staying in caravan parks. But um, yeah, yeah, this will be absolutely brilliant. Oh yeah, we got out to Cattle Gorge, which we couldn't work out where it was, but anyway. It's also camels, but chasing camels. We didn't. Anyway, here we are. Getting the campfire organised. I just put some spin effects on it, and it's just going crazy. Nice spot here in the Shea Gap Ranges. When it settles down, we'll put in our potatoes. We haven't got much food left, so got potatoes in the jackets now for them. Yum. When did you first work out at Goldsworthy Ains? 1974. And how old were you? 18. 18. So why did you go out to Goldsworthy? Well all the rest of the Calgary guys were out there. <laughs> so they teed it up to, for you to go out as well? Oh there was nine of us all together in Calgary. Yeah. yeah. And what was your role out there? TA. What doing sort like of thing? Shed, powerhouse. Yeah. And working with the trains and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah, no worries. So was it good to come back and have a look? Of course it was, yeah. So Shea yeah. Gap, did you have much to do with Shea Gap? Yeah, very little. Like footy against them. So you'd been out of here a few times though? Yeah. yeah. You knew where to go and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good to be back. A couple other Calgary guys were out here, Shea Gap. Yeah. So Kerry Ross was the one that gave you the little drawing to go out to the carvings. We tried to get out to some carvings but we couldn't quite find them. But Ainsley thinks he knows where they are. Ainsley's <laughs> just too scared. <laughs> he has to cross the truck at railway track in the car and I'm not happy about that. But here we are, this is a nice little spot. Let the snake handler lead the way because oh, they're, they're prickled. Prickle. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Making lots of noise. In the long grass, great. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
<laughs> Not loving it, but anyway. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Oh, yeah, this is it. spot. Wow. When you come into a spot like this you can see why it's so... And all the dogs with the yobbos from the 1970s right where this was up here. Well, I can see that. Yeah, this is it. It's a very sacred little spot. As far as we can go. this uh, trail up the top of this hill and that is Shea Gap coming through there 